Tonight on Monster Hunter Rise, El Dante from Angel Melee after falling into crippling debt from eating way too many chimichangas has decided monster hunting is more profitable than demon slaying. Enlisting the aid of Berserk's nuts and a gay cat, he shall fuel his intense Mexican food addiction, accompanied by his close friend that is also in need of a new career after losing the World Cup, Mbappe. Project Mbappe? Beginning his new job awoken by twins. It's weird, I remember them with a lot less clothes, but that doesn't matter, just like the story. But I will still explain it. Kamura Village has one very special export, bad dragon products made from actual dragons and monsters. What do you think the forge is for? Here's where we come in, to keep the business going. Quickly meeting with Mbappe in the gathering hub, which doubles as the Guildmaster Hojo's money laundering front. Which is what Master Tsushi told me in briefing, why you'd put money in the laundry machine I'll never know. Regardless, we shall make a fortune off monster banging, kicking off our careers hunting a great Izuchi, who pays his two crazy backup dancers minimum wage, thus giving minimum effort. But they are a prize material since their tails can make a triple pronged dildo. That's right, you can triple rub yourself ladies. Buy now at Kamura, located somewhere White Fatalis knows where. Unsuccessfully slaying the lizard, but the second time does the charm. Next up in our illustrious career, Xi Jinping's blueberry cousin, tasked with hunting for its fur and hard shell. The fur is used in a variety of fursuits or some kinky cuffs, whilst the shell will be fun to break. The blues clues box boxing skills and charging no match for a combined effort of incredible violence, putting an end to this gluttonous honey desiring or a sign. And after missing enough times with my charged blades amped elemental discharge, I switched to Sum, the interpretive dance bird. I interpret that it wishes to disembowel us and feed on our corpses. Charming. We are required to hunt down this smaller fireball spitting bird so that it may perform its seductive moves and give the well-hidden researchers a good idea of how dancing blow-up dolls should move for maximum profit. Big bird may peck and spits, but he is no match for good old human violence. Kuluyaku, the raptor-like egg poacher. This thief is quite useful for its fondness and fondling of round objects, giving Kamura's researchers a good idea of where the best rocks and round-shaped items are located for anal beads. But now we know where his stash is and to safely steal from the thief, we shall make sure he never commits crimes again. You could say we are the good guys. The beastly rabbits, Lagambi, experts of penguin slanting, tasked with slaying them for three reasons. They reproduce incredibly fast and loudly, causing issues such as keeping me up at night with those sounds. They have certain pheromones that can increase virility, thus letting you breed like a Lagambi. And lastly, their pouts and ears are key components in the creation of virtual YouTuber Usada Pekoro's mouse pads. As hunters, we always make sure to use every part of the beast, for we respect nature and their larger than life schlongs. Now die, monster! Oh no! Jesus! With a great performance, Master Hojo says we are now entitled to extra money from the laundromat. And with more budget comes bigger hunts, and Bappe and I are truly becoming dragon bangers. Kicking it off with Homer Simpson, but he's a soul stealing kappa with enough girth and size to sumo wrestle, ingesting large amounts of water, bloating himself to comedic levels. Although to some, it might be erotic levels. That's right, the Tetronodon's flexible and expandable sack serves well for inflation fetish suits. We have a particular buyer this time around, although I am not at liberty of disclosing his name, I can tell you it sounds like Cyro Pinnacle. After being stoned like a whore in the Bible, I hope he enjoys the product. Next up, is that my dick after shaving? No, it's Kazu, el cabeza de huevo, resin veiny dickhead. His detailed and flexible head is perfect for a... Uh... Okay, I'ma be honest, the request just says they want to shove a veiny Kazu down their throats. The more flexible and stretchy, the better. I am starting to regret my life decisions, and I'm concerned for whoever wants this. They'll get a wakey, shocking wakey, surprise. Wakey, wakey, with any luck, they'll just pluck her up and kiss the Kazu's lovely lips. I do not want to deal with this thing again. Pookie Pookie, I don't know why, but my friends laugh whenever I say the name. Today, we're after the versatile tongue that can make any woman scream, and if you can control the release of toxins, it can numb the user, thus delaying the inevitable. I will leave what that is to your imagination. Although we can also use the tail as a flashlight. Maybe not the most interesting of monsters, but we shall find a use for it regardless. Mm, monkey. The Bishatan slings its food, at least it's not poo. What use could a monkey have? Well, monkey cock is all I should say. And it's worth mentioning it has some tasty fruit, some of which are probably aphrodisiacs. I don't know, I'm not trying them. And look at that, I didn't make a single sopa do macaco joke. You should be proud of me. Dwayne the Kidney Stone Johnson, also known as Vesarios. This bastard of a wyvern is nothing but fuel for the forge, because how can you find any purpose in this abomination? If it delays its charges one more time, I'll have a mental breakdown. Why are we still here? Just to suffer.
ultimately defeating it with paper. The Great Rogi, not much to this poisonous lizard beyond a single shafted alternative to the Great Izuchi's product, but being honest, I'd recommend the triple pronged Izu cock dildo for its value, at only 10% more of the price compared to the Rogi alternative. Roly Poly Vovidon. It rolls around a lot, its tongue is very sought after due to its very useful applications, but lesser known fact its paralysis is a safer alternative to the Pookie Pookie's endurance toxin. Another reason we were testing hunting this famed beast was due to a certain fetish. I don't know, a very weird way of selling farts in a jar. Bear off. Requested for an even more vile reason than the Volvidon. Ever watch two girls one cup? Get ready for two wyverians one bear off. Our hunting career is developing further, our skills increasing, and our wallets filling up. I can now buy two chimichangas, but now comes one of the most anticipated products of Kamura, Rathian. This queen of the sky serves many purposes. It's a tricky hunt, not just due to her ferociousness, but also because if you don't cut off her tail, you'll lose out on one of the most valuable fleshlights, thus lowering the value of hunting her. Although the fleshlight is normally sold as a combo with the Rathalos dildo to couples, and with an extra bonus of Wrath Gleam, I'll let you imagine what that's used for. A struggle, but ultimately a successful hunt. Unfortunately, our actions have consequences, and due to the slaughter of their kind, the monsters have prepared an all-out attack against our house. A truly terrifying idea, the comeuppance for our crimes, or so it would be, for a mysterious figure known only as Steely Dan suddenly lent his aid. This legend that barely spoke became our beacon of hope. Steely Dan, if you're out there, know that your story shall be told. We embark on the rampage, a tower defense plants vs zombies balloon CD game mode in which you finally do the obvious thing and shoot monsters with high caliber rounds and literal lasers. Why we don't always do this I'll never understand, facing wave after wave of monsters that no longer wish to be exploited. Naturally, we crush any desire of unionization, for that would hurt Kamura's profits, and by consequence our own. Finally, we stop their onslaught ensuring that they don't get any sort of reparations for the horrors inflicted upon their kin. But the worst has yet to come. Magnum Long Dong, the hate fucking monster, has come to give us a taste of our own medicine. With its intense malice, it spurred the beast into a frenzy. He became the union representative and is now devouring them with the intent of becoming the ultimate BDSM masochist to destroy us. Luckily, his corpse will create the most wonderful sub and dom set and some of the highest quality band dragons the world has seen. Naturally, unable to quench our greed, we challenge the evil beast. But it proves to be a true challenge. The RGB on its body giving it power, dive bombing us, firing down Maku, empowering himself with fury dashing and jumping all over. Putting Silly Dan to the test. Defeat after defeat, we all fell victim to the beast's raw dog style. Even the man himself in Bapa is no match for the sheer dominating nature of Mags. Broski! <laughs> we deal with him, bro. But despite our shortcomings and failures, we rise again and again like the title of the game implies. Steely Dan, once jack of all trades, now a master of one, the Lance. But will he be able to truly withstand the Magnum Malo's deadly assault? Royal Guard! Finally, a ray of hope. The beast grows weary. Our paycheck at hand. <laughs> After that, Magnum Molo starts limping, so we roofie him, successfully completing the hunt. All thanks to Stevie Dan's courage and strength. Like and sub for more anticlimactic content.